Well, let's talk about land. So what is the perfect lot? How many of you, again, are looking actively looking for land? Raise hands. Okay. Important slides coming up for you. Well, the per perfect lot, first of all, it has to be in your desired location. Consider the schools um, that are there, distance to your, your commute to work, the neighborhood. Um, we'll talk about HOA. You also want to make sure that the lot is zoned for residential use. You don't want to pick up a lot that's zoned agriculturally thinking that you can rezone it. Okay, that's, that's very difficult to do. Utilities are, are important here, um, and this is where it becomes a little bit challenging to exactly locate where your water and sewer taps are located. Are they available at the site, at the location, or are they available, as in the remarks? Public utilities available, and we'll talk about that a little bit more, too, because that's, that's a key. Um, if it doesn't have public water or sewer, has it had a perk test? Has the lot been perked for a septic system? Um, is your lot fairly level or slightly sloping? If it's got a lot of topography, it doesn't mean that we can't build. It's just going to increase those site work costs. Does it fit the home that you want? All lots have buildable areas. There are building restriction lines, front, back, both sides. So we want to make sure that the house you want to build can fit. Is the lot priced fairly? A lot of times people will call us and say, I found a lot, it's great, it's where I want to live, and it's $20,000. Something is probably going to be missing from that property. Um, maybe there's no access to sewer, and it didn't perk for a septic system, and it's completely unusable at that point. So we're here to make sure that you don't end up buying a lot that is not buildable. 